Okay, I'm back for another video feedback session on an app. This time we're going over Skillshare, uh, which is an app for online classes. This was sent to me by at ASG on Twitter, Anthony Geranio, who is one half of the iOS team. So let's open the app and see what we have. Okay, great. Well, it's uh, already leading with content. It's already um, it loaded super quickly. I think I, I may have been in this app before, so that could explain it. Uh, I like that we have this banner at the top telling that these videos are trending. Um, I've got some recommendations from me about moving from graphic designer to UX and understanding camera stuff. We've got the free classes. And that's great. I think maybe these could even be called attention to more depending on the monetization goals of the company, design, photography, business. Um, some things are showing up multiple times, which I think is okay, but it seems a little bit like things are showing up in too many of these rows. Um, and so it doesn't seem like there's a good enough mix of content. That's not an app issue per se, um, but it is something that I think should be addressed. Then we have um, in the nav bar, it's telling me that I'm on the discover tab, uh, which matches the bottom, which is nice. And we've got categories and a magnifying glass. However, the line weights of these two things, the icon, the magnifying glass, and the font of categories are way off. So it seems kind of unconsidered. I would look at rectifying that. Uh, I'm gonna tap into a free class. Let's do this one. It says it's going to be 26 minutes. Okay, so we've got, it seems like a video preview at the top. Um, when I scrolled this, I kind of expected the entire screen to scroll uh, and have the video like enlarge a little bit. That seems like a, a kind of a design trend. Um, not a huge deal that it didn't. I can share the video class here. For some reason, AirDrop is disabled. I don't think you need to disable AirDrop, um, even though it is not used a ton. Um, when I do want to use it, I want to have that option there. So disabling airdrop is a little bit customer hostile. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, okay, we can see a bunch of information. 98% of people like this class. Uh, I've got an enroll button. I can see some student projects. You can swipe between the tabs, which I, I hope to be able to do, and I'm glad that I could. These lessons are locked um, until I enroll, which I guess is fine. Need to get people's information. I understand that. We've got a loader there. We can see the discussions. Uh, and this collapses, which I think is kind of nice. The, the title bar, the segment and control bar there. Okay, I'm going to watch the introduction. See how the video player works. Okay, so I'm gonna unorientation lock my screen, rotate. Okay, when I rotate the screen, I expect this video to go full screen like the YouTube app, but uh, I, that doesn't work, so I'm gonna have to tap it myself. And I can't hear the audio because I'm recording this, but um, video quality seems pretty good. I can see the lesson there. I can unfull screen it. That and that should be animated when you're uh, doing that full screen transition that quickly. It's super jar jarring to have that not be animated. I'll like a comment. Okay, that's another time to do this modal. Um, this modal is is okay. Uh, it's it is explaining somewhat of the benefits of signing up, but it doesn't make it seem that exciting to sign up. And what happens when I tap sign up? Same thing. Pretty bland. Um, Sign up screen. I think a lot can be done here to make this more enticing. I'm going to tap Facebook. Get the Safari View Controller. Tap OK. I already have a, skill, uh, a Skillshare account, so uh, it signs me in right away. And now these lessons should be unlocked. Uh, but now I actually have to take another step. So this is an opportunity where this could have been one step where it was sign up and enroll. But actually, you made me do two steps, which, which um, is quite annoying. I'm going to enroll anyway. And these should unlock. They do. Welcome to the class. Um, it said welcome to class. Uh, I think welcome to the class would feel a little bit more human as copy there or something else. Uh, buttons here, the share button and the dot 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 are way too close together. Too close for comfort for me up there on the right. I can unenroll. I can mark this lesson as complete. Seems good. Uh, the destructive button is unenroll, which is great. Uh, I can see student projects. I'm not really sure why I would ever look at this tab. I, I, I look at analytics to see if this is really doing very well. Um, it seems like a large area of the app, but uh, I'm not sure I would ever go check it out. And then, oh, uh, my classes. I haven't saved any classes. There is a dumb apostrophe there, which I'm going to point out in every single one of these that I see. Um, I can see the stuff that I've enrolled in. You can see that I'm, I'm uh, interested in coffee and making some pasta here. My save classes completed. I don't have any access to online, so here's another spot where I can upgrade, which is a premium member of $9.99 a month. Let's see how that works. Start my free trial. Okay, and then it's going straight to Touch ID, um, which might freak some people out. Another thing is, if I canceled 
the, uh, the in-app purchase, you don't need to pop up an alert telling me that I canceled. Uh, and especially calling me a user here is, is not great. Um, and putting a period in the, in the title of the alert view and not in the message, really those should be swapped. But in, in reality, this alert view shouldn't be coming up at all. If I cancel the in-app purchase, I did that. Um, I made that action explicitly. If the in-app purchase failed for some other reason, that would be an appropriate time uh, to show an alert. Um, but one that I hope would have a little bit more care on how it was and how, how it was copywritten. Not really sure I can review the activity screen because I don't have any activity. Uh, profile screen um, seems all right. It's, it's a little bare bones. Uh, I'm sure once I completed any student projects, they would show up here. But if I don't ever do that, um, I'm probably never going to come back to this tab again. I think it could be more engaging uh, as well. Take a look at settings. Uh, settings did a push, uh, which hierarchically doesn't make a ton of sense. I think that would be better as a modal transition with a done button instead of a back button. Uh, I understand some, some reasons for doing it, but I don't really think it makes sense here. Um, okay, contact support, share feedback. This, this could use a little bit more iconography. It's feeling a little bit boring right now. Um, these terms of service and privacy policy I assume they don't have chevrons because they're modal, which is fine, but they don't even really look tappable, a lot of these things. Um, if, the, if you made the text of these uh, button cells, I like to call these button cells, blue or the tint color instead of black, they would look a lot more tappable, and that would also allow you to make the sign out button a destructive, uh, a red destructive color, which would also let you know, uh, don't tap this, otherwise you're going to have to go through the pain of signing back in again. Um, let's take a look. I can favorite these. I don't know why I would do that. Oh, I crashed the app, so if you want the log for that. Let me know. Uh, let's go back into it. Skill share. Oh boy. So now we have a modal on top of a modal, uh, which if you could prevent this would be great. Um, I tend to set these crash reporters um, to always send automatically so the user's not bothered because the only thing more annoying after getting a crash is then having to tap another thing that says to send the crash. So uh, if you can get user consent for it um, up front and then just be able to always send those, that's much better than bugging them on every crash. Um, or if it's in your terms of service, uh, you can just do it there. Get notified, a no thank you. I can X out of that, a little nice little animation there. All in all, pretty pretty solid app. Um, everything's organized in the way I would expect. And uh, the premium features seem to be explained in a clear way. I dig it.